Well, lots of great storylines here at Van Amble Arena last night. There was the return of Martin Furt, Dennis Chalosky, another Red Wing first round draft pick assigned to Grand Rapids, suiting up for the Griffins last evening. And Jared Coro now tending net for the San Antonio Rampage and facing the team that he spent each of the last four full seasons with. Over and above that, you had the team with the most home ice wins in the American Hockey League against the team with the fewest road victories. And that storyline held up as the Griffins beat the San Antonio Rampage 5-1, to setting the stage for the rematch here tonight between the same two teams and it's our game day preview brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union. Well, Wade Megan led the way last night with the season's first hat trick, tipping in a Dennis Chalosky shot in the opening period and then scoring his second and third goals off of wonderful feeds from Martin Furk. Yeah, he's, uh, we've had some good chemistry going um, from a little bit earlier in the season and then uh, carried it over into last night. And yeah, some of those passes were uh, certainly high-level plays, so um, it's been fun to play with him. Well, as many of you know, Marty Furk is uh, primarily known for those cannonading drives, the Marty missiles, if you will. Uh, and here you get a sense with this video, and believe me, it's uh, nothing at all like being there in person. But uh, you get a sense of what a goalie sees when that puck is traveling off the stick of Marty Furk at 100-plus miles an hour in his direction. And uh, uh, Furk, though, is a well-rounded hockey player, loves the fact that uh, he can dish it. And boy, did he ever had to be pleased with those passes last night to Megan. Yeah, uh, you know what? Uh, I just... Uh... I, I did see him there open, you know, so might as well uh, try to give it to them. Uh, but, uh, you know, for me, I for sure want to score goals, but hopefully, hopefully it will come soon. But uh, if not, if I can, uh, you know, make the make the chances for someone else, I like it too. Well, Harry Soteri only has to face that Ferg bomb uh, in practices, though it doesn't really matter who's shooting the puck at him these days. He's stopping just about everything. Turned away 20 of 21 last night, lowering his goals against a 1.78 now in his last nine starts. Man, has he, Harry Soteri, been really good here of late. Yeah, I agree, Bob. Ever since Hershey, he's really bounced back well. Uh, we've really been working on his game plan. He's controlled his depth. His rebound control has been very good. He's been efficient in all his starts so that's all you can ask for from a veteran guy and uh, you're going to see Rybar tonight and it's a good tandem to have going into uh, the last 25 games this season. Well an excellent tandem indeed as Brian Mahoney Wilson mentioned Patrick Rebar will get the start tonight his 2.32 goals against has him ranked third among all American Hockey League netminders. As of this morning all indications were someone other than Jared Coro would start in goal for San Antonio tonight and that someone would be rookie Evan Fitzpatrick giving the St. Louis Blues Blue's second round draft pick, just his second American Hockey League start. The Griffins tonight will look for their 30th win to join just three other teams in the league to reach that plateau. They are now four points up on Iowa for first place in the Central Division standings. The homestand will continue and wrap up next week, Wednesday against Rockford and Friday versus the Texas Stars. Thanks for joining us, everybody, for our game day preview brought to you again by Michigan First Credit Union.